Hello everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. Illegally dumped tires end up in some pretty hard to reach places, but getting to them just got a lot easier. The DEP's Mike Huff has the details. Getting illegally dumped tires out of West Virginia streams and rivers is demanding physical work. The tires have to be yanked up out of the mud, emptied of all their accumulated silt, and then hoisted onto a boat to be floated to a takeout point. From there, they're winched up by a skid steer and hauled off to a waiting truck to be taken for proper disposal. I think we're looking at a little over 200, so we'll see, and that should put our total up over 1,000 that we've taken out here in the last week. This year, the DEP added a new tool to help volunteers and contractors. It's called a Hydratrek. Think of it as a downsized civilian version of a military amphibious assault vehicle. It has tracks like a tank and propellers like a boat, and when the water gets too deep, it floats. And it can get into places they otherwise couldn't and provide some extra mechanical muscle. Oh yeah, that machine does a really good job on the river now. That's, that's another nice tool for us to have to do these cleanups. You're able to pull those tires out of the, out of the, where they're sucked into the bottom and the, you, you pop them up and we actually can take boats down and go back upstream with it and it gives us a whole lot more flexibility. It used to be when we float, you floated till the boats were full and then you came down to where you unloaded them and you, you left a lot of stuff. The DEP has been working with local watershed groups removing tires from the Little Coal for several years now but what they're mostly still finding are old tires. Really old tires. Uh, on this river, I think, in my mind, I think these tires are tires that were dumped a long time ago. Most of these tires are old tires. Yeah. So, uh, you know, while we keep finding them, I'm not sure whether it's because the river is rechannelizing or what, but uh, hopefully we'll get them out of here all someday. Besides the tire removal, the DEP has been working on an ambitious stream restoration project to return the watershed to its natural flow before erosion causes it to fill in with sediment and cover the cobble bottom by as much as several feet of silted places. Contractors have worked to stabilize the banks to minimize future erosion. They've also added structures to the river to help speed up and direct the flow to move the accumulated sediment out. As the channel gets scoured out, it may be exposing some of those very old tires that could have been buried for decades. Paddlers have reported seeing partially buried tires in some of the recently cleaned out sections following increased flow events. In Boone County, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. That's all for this week for Environment Matters. I'm Annette Hoskins. Thanks for watching.